Today we're gonna be looking at how things are made and it's kind of disturbing. Take a look. Wow, so a vending machine that makes milkshakes? Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's got like a syrup shot and then like, I don't know what that goop is and then it just automatically makes it for you. That's so cool. I would love to have a business that does this, but it, it looks like strawberry milk, not a milkshake. Ah, the pizza vending machine. Three minute pizza to go 24 seven. What an excellent business idea. It probably sucks, but you probably get enough tourists here that they wouldn't know. So it doesn't matter if they never come back. Honestly, legitimately looks kind of decent. Like I feel like I've ordered pizza that's been worse looking than this. Wait, how McDonald's nuggets are made? All right, are they frozen? Are they freshly killed on site? Are they humans? So they come in a bag, give the bag a little dumpy dump. Careful, don't, don't burn the hands on that. Probably pretty hot. Give a little bit of a stir. Oh, those look clean, very fresh. Oh, that one fell out. You put it in there still though, it's okay. This, are, this is, okay. You missed one. You missed an Uggie, that's fine. Oh, careful on the hands there, bucko. Okay, now I saw McDonald's, that one didn't scare me. Taco Bell on the other hand, definitely gives me a little bit of fear here. You boil the bag, doesn't that give you like plastic poisoning or something? Cancer? Look at that, oh. Oh, why is the meat liquidy? I'd still eat it, it looks delicious, but I'm just saying it does also look disgusting. Dude, this is like the kind of stuff you see at like the military getting when they're like getting slop, like poof, that's what they pour on their plate. Oh, yes, I want these so bad. Has anyone had these before? I don't. I can't find a place near me that makes them. It looks so good. That mochi donut, what sets these donuts apart oh. is the type of flour they use. So Instead curious. of regular plain of flour, they use a what? rice glutinous flour. The same one they use for mochi ice cream. So the result is, is a very stretchy, fluffy, Whoa. airy donut. Nothing like the ones you've tasted before. <laughs> that looks like, kind of like lighter than Krispy Kreme. I don't know how that's possible. They tough them with icing, that looks some so cereal, good and let them dry. Now you're gonna see, we're gonna pull this one apart. And oh my gosh, stretches. look at that. It's so crazy. Dude, that's like a 50 out of 10. Why do these not exist near me? I would like to eat multiples of them now. Now we got a French fry vending machine. Look what I just found in Germany. This is a French fry what? machine and it says you can make them in 35 seconds. This machine, you This put is what you use when you're super drunk and there's not an, ever a time you use it outside of that. And in and then you just press start. And look, it says in 290 seconds, you'll have fresh fries. You can choose tomato sauce or salt. In this case, I think I'll go with both. Oh, this is cool. I love these. I would, I would literally, I would start a business there. doing this. This seems like the future of food. Three, two, one, and look, they're done. Give them a go. Sounded good. They're okay, actually. They actually look kind of good. I wonder if it's just like an air fryer inside of a machine and it just goes and like lets them in and then drops. It's probably super simple, but that's really cool. This is how your favorite foods are made. Today, we're talking Doritos. First, cooked yellow corn is ground into a thick dough. Then they are thinned and cut into the familiar shapes we all know. Why did I not realize Doritos are just made of corn? It's like just good corn. And then they're dropped into a 500 degree oven, not to cook them, just to dry them out. Ew, could you imagine eating a chewy Dorito? And then after that, they're fried for just one minute in 300 minute? degree corn oil to get them crispy. So and it's corn being fried in corn's oil? This is literally like cannibalism with corn. They're ever so lightly dusted with that scrum dilly umptious cheese powder we all love. The question is, would Doritos taste as good if they weren't triangles? A square Dorito would not hit the same. I don't know why, but it doesn't, it just, I don't think it'd be as good. Now we got a pineapple cut. Is this the same dude? Take your pineapple. What? And put it inside the machine. You take your plastic box. What an unbelievable, unnecessary invention right here. I mean, where's that unnecessary invention guy? You should be making stuff like this. And then you press start. Whoa. The pineapple has gone through. That's so unnecessary. Let's come back up. And there we Very go. Very aggressive. I mean, I think it's cool. I guess it really shows like we're pretty advanced people because we can waste time making pineapple cutters, but boy, that's expensive probably. How school food is made. Don't they just go to the dumpster and take out like some kind of trash and give it to you? Pear don't, pear done. Oh, pre, <laughs> pre done. I don't think that's a word. And give it to us frozen. To this day, I don't think I've given a real steak. <laughs> it looks like fried mushroom. That's a steak. Mystery meat topped with government cheese in the same brick loads. Wow, why do we eat this? This literally is what we eat, guys. If you're not from America, this is not a joke. This is legitimately what we eat. The carrots always look like they're dead. That is actually what our pizza look like. We always get milk. I don't understand why. They're like, why? Isn't water better for us? Maybe I'm dumb, but like, yo, this makes no sense. School lunches are awful. <laughs> now we got a robot ice cream machine. These are, these are like great drops that I feel like robots could do really well. So let's see. Cause the question is, is it going to like serve you like a fair amount? Cause I feel like these robots be ripping people off. You could have filled that. You could have done more. I feel like, like, look at this. 
like five M&Ms on this thing. That's the saddest looking. Imagine walking around with that. That is literally free advertising. And someone sees it and they're like, wow, that looks disgusting. This, this place is shooting themselves in the foot, guys. Let me take over. I'll help you. Ever wondered how paint is bottled? Uh, no, but now I do. See, I've played a little bit of satisfactory. And I'll tell you right now, there's some efficiency losses here, it seems, as they're stuck moving. Seems like it. Could be. Ooh, that's weird. This seems like a very depressing atmosphere. I used to work in a place that looked just like this. Well, most of my jobs were like this. That's really what you would hear all day. Tough job, to be honest. Very tough. How gum is made? Huh, I have actually never seen this in my life. So balls of something with red. What are those? That's kind of, looks like, looks like glue. This does not look appetizing to me. Okay, now it does. <laughs> that didn't take long. I wonder if it's like boiling hot. Okay, now it looks like poop again. This is cool. Oh, look at that. I did not know that's how you did it. It's kind of disgusting. Oh, this is caviar, isn't it? This is like super expensive, I think. I'm pretty sure that's like either hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars for all that caviar. Look at those eggs. I don't know, do you guys like caviar? I don't I don't mind it. I think it's kind of good, but like, it's not like I'm gonna go out of my way to get it. Like if, if it's if it's there, I might get it just to look fancy, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, oh caviar, I love caviar. I can't wait to eat it. It's like, it's kind of just salt. Oh, what is this? Burger and meats are really honestly pretty gross. Like that looks like just taking a big fat poop, doesn't it? Like just a bloody poop coming out. I'm not even gonna say more. We're gonna move on. Believe it or not, there's a blacksmith in Hollywood. How real swords are made for movies? But who specializes in making real swords for films and TV? Whoa! The sword starts as layers of dissimilar Can metal. Can you imagine this dude like loving movies as a kid and now he's got his dream job making swords for like Game of Thrones and stuff? The metal is heated up, then hammered flat, either by hand or power hammer. That's cool. The sword cool. is ground okay. down to its shape. And is he oh man, I don't think I'd ever want to be a welder. A donut shop owner, sure. Welder, this don't seem like my type of vibe. All right, I don't want to be, I don't be messed with no flaming swords, but that is really cool. How to make a McFlurry with a broken mixing machine? You see, compare this to the other robot. Like they fill that thing up properly. Oh, the machine broke, so he is, is, is he have to spin it himself? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That'd be actually kind of hard to stir. Sausages, oh, okay, oh, that was close. That thing has a meaty vibe to it. Why are they so moist? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a thick. What kind of sausage is this large? That's like a five pounder. Oh, I would love, I would just love to own this. I'd be proud. Look at that. Are those lemon? Those look lemon. I love lemon. Oh, look at that. Is this Krispy Kreme? These eggs? What? Wow, that's cool. It's like an egg cracker. Honestly, very cool machine. A lot of intricacies going on here. The inner engineer in me is looking at this like, that's confusing. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't design it. Orange juice machine. The oranges go through here, get squeezed, and then go into your bottle. See, look, you can rinse the dispenser. See, look, Whoa, the oranges pass through the cool. machine. Guys, think about it. One day, instead of all of us having like microwaves, we'll still probably have microwaves. We're also gonna have like this. This will be like a normal thing in someone's house. Have been harvesting salt by hand in this part of Mexico for Whoa. over 2,000 years. We visited Zapotitlan Salinas to see how one salt producer's business is still standing. That's Swan cool. Carries about 40 pounds of salt water. That's a lot of water. Rocky Hills. The liquid sits for at least five days, Whoa. evaporating under the sun. A new layer crystallizes each day. Once there are enough, Juan shovels the crystals into a mound. He uses his feet to break down the big piece. How much do you think this stuff would, well, that's a bad shot with foot in it, but I feel like this would sell for so much money. Which aren't too sharp when they're wet. Wow. Then he piles the salt into a basket. That's crazy. Which works like a colander, draining out all the moisture. Look at that. It stays out in the sun to dry for four or five days. After it's cleaned and packaged, it sells to locals for around 10 pesos. 50 cents! Well, the only difference between salt and sea salt is sea salt has bird poop in it. I've heard. This is so strange to me because what is this? I would like to squish. I would like to squish it. Candy cane? Can cane. You know what else would be cool to open up? A classic candy shop. The way these guys work, they look like miracle workers. They just make it look so enjoyable. Right? Doesn't this... For some reason, it just looks like old fashioned. Like, I, I don't know. I really like the old candy shop vibes. How clothes are made? Oh, clothes hangers. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Look at all the machinery. Can you imagine getting your finger caught in that thing? I mean, that would tear it up. Scientists at Washington State University have been on a quest to breed the perfect apple for more than 20 years. 22 years! years. 10,000 seeds, and those seeds grew into trees, and we looked through 10,000 of them, and uh, a couple showed promise. Wow, 10,000 trees and you're only picking a couple. The next 11 years, that in-depth evaluation consisted of tons of tests, evaluating the cosmic what? crisp size, shape, 
color, crunchiness, juiciness, and tartness. Dude, I feel like in a hundred years or a thousand years or something, they're gonna look back and be like, dang, shout out to those guys for making like the ultimate apple. It's like this big and like just pure juice and crunch. I'd be here for it. Oh, it's a street sign. Do oh, is this how street signs are made? All right, that's the transfer Wait, paper. Press it down, cut, cut, squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. What, is he actually gonna put it on a real sign? Oh, he is putting it on a real sign. Whoa. That goes on the back of the sign. That's uh, satisfying. Line her up. Yep. Throw her over. Pull her on. Simple. Oh, so that must peel it so that it gets on the sign. Then you have to cut the sign. Roll it on. Skirt. Come back the other way. Flip it over and roll it on. Oh. Dude, that is kind of sweet. All right, last step. Take off the transfer paper. Oh, can do a little more. And that's it. Imagine doing all that work and it's not symmetrical. Guys, if you're on summer break right now and you enjoyed this video, then go spend the rest of it with this video that I made specifically for people on summer break. Go check it out. Peace.